uh, it's starting to get weird reviewing video games. I, I mean, it used to be easy. Games came in a plastic shell, you blew them, stop laughing, you plugged them into your console, you had the same set of criteria. But now each one's different. Uh, downloading games, this is ridiculous! Actually, the issue with this game isn't the means of delivery, it's the way you're essentially buying a game that's incomplete, in a sense. I'm mean, sure, technically, you can play the game without them, but... I mean, let's get real. If you're gonna play Happy Squirrels all the way through, you're gonna have to make extra purchases, and... I just... I don't know how to feel about that anymore. A new release to the App Store, Happy Squirrels is, in and of itself, a delightful little game. It's one of those build rooms, attract people, build more rooms type of games, only with squirrels. And really, anytime you're substituting people with squirrels, uh, that's unequivocally a step in the right direction. But, uh, you know, choice of mammal isn't the only thing Happy Squirrels does right. I mean, the game looks gorgeous, for starters. It has this really cool, kind of blocky style that works great and gives the game a very playful appearance. It's really pretty, and the graphics have some nice little interactive elements, too. You can spin the pinwheel or, you know, ring the doorbell. Happy Squirrels is its own colorful, adorable little world. Of course, the gameplay is probably best described as, like, this customer service simulator. Basically adding rooms to a tree with a bunch of different types to choose from. You pay for that with acorns, which you collect from your room, so theoretically, your existing rooms would fund additional rooms. Evidently, theories are for poor people. Now instead, you, you run out of acorns pretty early on, at which point you have some choices. You can wait, like, days at a time for your rooms to produce enough acorn funds, or you can buy more via in-app purchase. And uh, the thing is, it's not like this is an outrageous new concept. A lot of games do this. The game is free, but, you know, it requires these additional purchases later on. Happy Squirrels is one of them. Now, to be fair, there are also mini-games that give you acorns, and your tree produces acorns as well, but uh, they're a negligible total relative to the amount you need to do anything. You can also speed up your constructions with potions that, yes, you're eventually going to have to buy more of, too. I mean, Happy Squirrels is a very cute, very well-made, very good management game, but it's also a freemium game that is inevitably going to cost you in-app purchases. The model is fair, but for some reason, it, it just feels pretty slimy to me. I mean, I'd rather pay upfront for a game, especially one as otherwise enjoyable as Happy Squirrels. I mean, they're squirrels and they're happy. I, I would pay for that.